Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 7th through the 13th. Keep in mind the timing is fluid still. So let's see what we have for Capricorn for the week ahead. I'm going to start right here. What do we have for Capricorn? Please give me one card. What do we have for Capricorn? Mm, that's too many. Big pile. Big pile up. Let's see. What do we got for Capricorn? Patience. Patience. Not, uh, you're going to need to be patient this week. Believe in t divine timing. Divine timing is real. This is a need to uh, be sure that you are not overdoing it. Try not to push. You may need to wait. This is this card says to wait. You may need to wait. There's no need to hurry. Uh, patience is a virtue. You know, everything happens in divine timing when the time is right. So keep that in mind this week. You may need to manage your feelings. Okay, and give somebody some time. So, uh, divine timing is never incorrect. You may need some self-discipline, okay? Because patience isn't easy. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself time to see results. Give yourself time to heal. Maybe you're still healing from something and you're in a hurry to get other things done. Time. Time. Give your, be, be, take your time. Take your time. That's the message of that card. Everything will happen as it should. What do we have for Capricorn? One card, please. Fertility. Now, this may have to do with being a mother. Okay. Um, the Empress is a mother. The Empress is unconditional love. You may be a mother. Maybe you're a new mother. You could be a new mother. Um, be patient with healing. Okay. If you are the masculine watching this, you may be dealing with a very um, valuable woman. Okay. The Empress is a goddess. She's domestic. She cares. She loves unconditionally. She does everything with love. If you are the feminine watching this, this is the energy that you are taking on. You are taking on the energy of the mother. Okay. Mother earth, caring, tender, loving, kind. Everybody wants to help you. People are probably drawn towards you. Um, you're probably glowing this week, uh, looking very beautiful. If you are the feminine, people are definitely drawn to you. Again, if you are the masculine watching this, you are dealing with this woman. Okay, this is a, this is a beautiful woman who draws people to her. Okay, everybody can sense her loving nature. All right. Now this is also, it's a very fertile time. It's a time of, of birth, right? Of new beginnings. But you think about, I said in time, you give birth when it's time. Okay. You don't get to choose when it's time is time. Okay. So you start that new life when it's time. So be patient be patient. You may be experiencing some sort of pain. At the end of this pain is a blessing. So you are going to be blessed in some way, but remember to be patient. This is a time of incubation, right? It's a time of abundance, but it is all about time, okay? It's it's time for your new life, okay? It's time for the birth or something like that. But now it's time to heal as well because patience is also a card of healing. It's a time of growth for you. Let's get some of these. Well, I guess there they are. Okay. 
We have five of them. Five is about change. Five is about uh, life choices, instability, divinely guided major life changes. That is what you're going through right now. Change isn't easy. Whatever is happening, it's big. Because when the Empress gives birth, it is a new life. And a new life is big. It's a big, big, big deal. Fives are also about expecting the unexpected. We got five cards here. So you can expect the unexpected. Maybe something, you know, happens all of a sudden. You think about that birth. Boom, here it is. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Dog barking, advice from a friend. Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you do probably need some help. I do believe that you do. Finger, warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. Broom, new home, new attitude. Some of you may have already moved into a new home or you're planning to move into a new home. You will be moving into a new home soon if you have not already. When you have a new home, you'll automatically have a new attitude. So be prepared for a new attitude. There could be a change in your home. There could be a, a new baby or a new arrival or something like that. Um, there is a problem in the near future. And that cannot be avoided. It could just be your stress level. Let's just see what we got here. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you may need some help because some, there's something new here for sure. Because we got a new home, new attitude. This is a new life. There's something new that is, uh, it's a big change and you probably need time to adjust to this change. Dog barking. You have a friend that can help you, that can give you some valuable advice or give you a helping hand even. So you do have somebody here that is a real friend that can help you. You will be needing to trust your intuition this week, so don't be ignoring it. You may be dealing with a problem with with the delivery of some sort. There's a, there is some sort of problem here with that warning you of a problem. Death reversed. The Hierophant reversed. Oh, goodness. And the Page of Swords. So right now, it's it, you may be feeling conflicted. You may need to do some research. I mean, this is the overall energy between you and whoever you're do, dealing with right here. There could be a little bit of conflict here. Um, you may be feeling agitated. You may be. This is agitation. You may be feeling agitated with somebody. It could be a child. Um, doesn't have to be a child. Uh, here, the, whoever you're dealing with, uh, mm, this is their energy. Whoever you're dealing with, this is a profound change. Maybe you didn't expect it. There could be some sort of incident here with whoever you're dealing with. You may have may be losing faith or may not be may not be trusting in the higher power. Everything happens for a reason, right? Now, this death card reversed, whoever you're dealing with um, may not have a lot of energy. There could be fear here. This could be fear, extremely fearful. This hair of font reverse is in your arena. This is in your, this is having a hard time under a lot of pressure. There could be some relationship issues here. There could be some sort of conflict that is going on with you and another person. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Maybe a Gemini. Could be a Sagittarius. I feel as though you need to have faith. You need to have faith. Trust. Trust your gut. Trust your inner guide. Listen. Be open to advice as well. You know, I think that there is somebody that can give you some advice. And maybe you're just not listening to anybody's advice. It feels like you may be breaking some rules or thinking about breaking some rules. I think that you need to be careful about breaking rules. 
and I'm not and I don't know if that's the case for everybody but this this who this death card reverse could be an unexpected death I'm just being honest with you um, which may make you agitated mm -hmm. I don't know fear it could be fear of death as well it could be fear it could be fear so just keep that in mind um, nine of wands reversed three of swords reversed chariot king of pentacles reversed six of swords and eight of pentacles reversed and the overall energy is the page of wands reversed so I feel like, you know, I mean, the Page of Wands reversed is somebody that doesn't have anything good to say. You could be dealing with a negative Nelly this week. Somebody that's bringing you down. This is a Debbie Downer. Could be a sibling of yours, even. It doesn't have to be. Could be a sibling. Could be a child. Um, could be anybody. But this, the Page of Wands in reversed is somebody that is negative. That is boring. That shows off. Um, there could also be some bad news coming. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but that page of uh, wands reversed is probably, you know, some news that arrived. Or maybe it arrived the week before or something like that and you're still struggling with it. Um, that page of wands reversed is not the best news, okay? I feel like uh, you are healing from something right now because of that three of swords right in the middle and your energy, your area, that, that's healing. You're on the path to recovery. You need to move on from something. Some of you may be holding on to somebody. You may be holding on to somebody from your past because of that death card reverse. This holding on is getting old. It's time to let go. Maybe you, maybe, you know, you are refusing, whoever you're dealing with is refusing to compromise. They have a chip on their shoulder. Uh, it's very disagreeable. You're, I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius that is very disagreeable in your life. It doesn't have to be. It could be another earth sign. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Scorpio. I feel like you, they are draining you in some way, whoever you're dealing with. Um, this person may not have your back. They probably they may talk behind your back, this person. Um, I feel like somebody is, or they're having a hard time. Somebody is having a hard time letting go. They may be having a hard time letting go of something that ended in the past. Somebody's still holding on. They're holding on. They may be holding on to you or they're holding on to your partner. Could be an ex. Um, I also feel like there's some gossip. I feel like somebody is talking behind your back. I just, I just feel very strongly about that. I feel like you need to be careful because whoever you're dealing with um, is very, very clever. They are very clever. They're not solid. They're not stable. Um, they're very materialistic. They probably do things that are against the law, you know, or they just think that they can get away with whatever, with whatever they want. So I think that you definitely need to be careful. You could be dealing with somebody that that is not faithful they're not loyal this is your other person's energy um somebody may be fighting for your person's attention or there's another person here and i i'm sorry to say that i feel like it's a scorpio i don't know why i want to say that it's a scorpio or it's a fire sign aries leo sagittarius could be an air sign but whatever anyway i feel like perhaps this person um there could be an incident with this person that makes you feel challenged. This person may challenge you this week, okay? Um, whoever this person is that you are dealing with um, wants their own way. And they don't plan on letting you win, whatever that means. They, they have their own agenda. So you're dealing with somebody that has their own agenda. I feel like there's some element of... Uh, not really wanting to commit, not for you, not really having a lot of faith in a relationship uh, because of distrust. I feel like you don't trust somebody. I feel like you are on the path to recovery. You may be thinking about forgiving somebody, but you don't want to get caught up in any kind of uh, 
trouble. It's like you don't, you, you, you just want peace in your life, right? So I think that you are going to, you're going to a better place. You're, you're headed to a good place. You are uh, not interested in really putting in a lot of effort with whoever this person is, or they're not interested in putting in effort with you. I feel like somebody is definitely moving. They're moving on with that chariot and the six of swords. I think the overall energy between the both of you is moving in a new direction. I think that we have we have forward movement. We have somebody here that is finding their discipline to uh, keep moving forward. And I feel like there's some sort of uh, conflict that you are going to have. You're going to be having a conflict with somebody this week. You definitely are. Um, I feel like this person, whoever this person is, uh, they don't want to give up a commitment or something like that. Um, something's not working out. I mean, the overall energy between you and whoever you're questioning, somebody's not putting in much effort. They're not putting in much effort. They, they're letting it slip away. They uh, don't want to, uh, somebody doesn't want to get hurt again. And I think that's you. I think that's you that doesn't want to get hurt again. I feel like, uh, there's relationship problems here. There is relationship problems. You may be dealing with somebody that is communicating with somebody from their past, you know, the, that they were once committed to and they're hiding it. It feels like they're hiding it. Um, they may be traveling to this person. You know, they could be going for rides with this person or something like that. I feel as though... Um, something isn't working out and you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence and your willpower and your discipline to put your guard up and set boundaries with somebody because I think you're it's and it may, maybe it's your partner somebody needs to set some boundaries and say hey this isn't okay some of you are dealing with a Taurus another earth sign um, there's lack of stability here. We have somebody here that is being dishonest. They're not being real with you. They're not telling you the truth. And I feel like you... You're healing... You're healing. You're moving. This is moving. You may be moving someplace. This is moving on from a heartbreaking situation. I feel the overall energy between you and somebody that you're dealing with is it's not working out. Something isn't working out. And this is getting in the driver's seat, controlling emotions, and traveling. Somebody's moving or they're planning a move or something like that. Or they need to get planning. New home, new attitude over here. I feel as though you you may be caught off guard. You may be caught off guard by an individual that it's almost like this person is 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 coming back around to cause problems. And it could be it could be an ex of an it could be your partner's ex or I don't know who doubt. Somebody is coming around to cause problems. I also, I feel like, I mean, the knight, the king of pentacles in reverse for in your person's arena is unfaithfulness. Somebody's not, you know, it is, it's disloyalty. Somebody's, and you could be dealing with, an, whoever this person is, uh, is very cunning and clever. Very. And they probably have hurt you before. So I feel like you are going to receive communication from somebody that 
you know, it may have, they may have rejected you in the past. You've moved on, that kind of thing, or you had moved on. It feels like they're, now they're here, you know, and my advice is to uh, not put in effort to this and keep going where you've been going because I feel like you will be more successful if you put your guard up. They might be asking you to let your guard down, but they broke your heart before, so I'm not sure what is going on here. If you, you know, this is like, you're going to receive a message. This message makes you feel conflicted. So they may, maybe want, they may even say, hey, you want to go for a ride? I feel for a lot of you, you've, you've healed from something already. You're, you've, you're headed towards success. And here comes this person to, you know, test your faith. This is a test. Put it that way. It's a test of your uh, ability to say no. Put it that way. I feel as though uh, you are going to be, your faith is definitely going to be tested. And there's something to do with the Taurus here. They may even be asking for forgiveness. They may have been rejected. They may have been rejected and now they want you to give them a chance. It doesn't have to be a Taurus. It could be a, a, a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Scorpio. I feel like it's this is like something coming back from the dead. You know what I mean? This is like a disaster. It's upheaval. And I think there's been some sort of a stagnation where there was probably no communication and now there's communication. And I feel like this person, they didn't, they were held back by fear of commitment perhaps or something like that, or they were in another commitment or something like that. You may be also dealing with an individual and this may be for somebody else that isn't putting in much effort because they are communicating with somebody from their your their past behind your back. I mean, I hate to keep saying that, but I think that you need to be weary. I also feel like you ha you need advice. You may need some, maybe you need to get some advice from somebody in need of help, assistance, and guidance, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Advice from a friend. You do this is ed this is about advice. You definitely need some advice, but I feel like you have a hard time listening to anybody's advice. And I do. I feel like if you don't, you know, if you refuse to listen to anybody's advice, then you're going to learn a very hard lesson. So I think there's, a, there's, a, there's, we have an individual here that is fearful of commitment. They may have been uh, dealing with somebody that didn't want to commit. Now they're disgraced. And they're making a move. So I think there is somebody here that is making a move. Somebody may be... Uh, well, we do have taking charge. Dealing with opposition. After not putting in effort. So I feel like there's there's something that... The overall energy is the Page of Wands reverse. Which is something that has failed to launch. Something has failed to launch, and now somebody may be looking for an ego boost. So my advice to you is to listen to your intuition this week. You are going to be receiving a message from somebody, I believe, that has been rejected. Or has, yeah. Or your partner is. And I do feel like there's disloyalty here. This person is feeling um, insecure. This person has a lot of insecurities. I feel like they may be even saying, I'm sorry I made a mistake. You're probably going to hear, they may tell you something that you were sensing. You were sensing this and you may hear about it. 
So anyway, I feel like you definitely have an opportunity for a new life here. You need to be patient and wait. This is somebody who is very valuable that knows their value. You need to be patient and wait for your blessing. Don't just give yourself away to somebody that doesn't want a commitment. That just wants to play with your heart and break your heart. And that's damn good advice now, isn't it? I do see that you are you are headed to a better place. You are. You're headed to a good place. You've done a lot of healing. Do not let this person that has been rejected take you backwards. Keep moving forward. For some of you, you this could be a whole different scenario where you, this could be job related where, you know, Maybe it's a job that's not working out and you're having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure, but the job really isn't working out. I think you're going to receive some news this week that, you know, you're going to have to make a decision uh, based on your value, based on your worth. I do see somebody coming in. Okay, this is an arrival of some sort. You're going to receive a message or an arrival period from somebody that makes you feel conflicted. Empress reversed. I feel like, you know, somebody didn't value you. And you may be in pain over that. Or they, they put you in some sort of pain. Or vice versa. This is painful. Somebody may have gotten themselves involved with a woman that didn't really care for them. That slept around. Now they want you back. Anyway, good luck, Capricorn. My advice for you is to hear this person out, but don't put in a lot of effort. Don't put in a lot of effort right away. Ask for advice from somebody that you trust and wait. If this person loves you, if they really, really, really want to be with you, they'll put in more effort. Good luck. 